Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah, and if you like books, especially romance, then this is the channel for you. So today, um, I thought I would do a video idea that uh, Jess Owens came up with, which was discussing the series that she is in the middle of. She focused more on the fantasy series and science fiction series that she's in the middle of, but um, I checked out my list and there's quite a few romance series that I am in the middle of, so I thought I would share which series I'm planning on continuing on in. So it's definitely <laughs> overwhelming when you put it into a list all the series that you have on the go. Some of these are waiting out for new releases, but these are all the series that I've been reading for years and plan on sticking with them. The first up is a very popular series, is the, the Black Dagger Brotherhood. I'm a few books behind on this one. I've been working on trying to catch up with J.R. Ward for years, and she puts out a lot of big novels. The next book in the series that I have to read is Lover Unveiled. Uh, for those of you who may not have read Black Dagger Brotherhood, it is an urban paranormal series set in New York State, where you have a vampire monarchy surrounded by his top elite soldiers falling in love with different mates that come into their life. It is a fun, gritty romance. Um, not too dark, but I wouldn't say it's light either. Uh, Jerry Ward is a fantastic writer, uh, so if you're ready for a big commitment, definitely jump in. Some of the newer ones I think would be hard to jump in as a new reader, but uh, I've done a few rereads on some of her earlier ones and I think they hold up, so I'll definitely be continuing on with this one. So the next series that I am in the middle of is by Courtney Milan. It is the Brother Sinister series. This one I am finished book three and I still have book four and a few novellas to go. This series is a historical set around the a few friends who all are left-handed, because um, the Latin word for left-handed is sinister. It is a, a really feelingful historical romance. The third book in the series was one of my favorite books last year, The Countess Conspiracy. Um, I'm looking forward to continuing on. I just need to be in an emotional place to read a Courtney Milan book. <laughs> So the next series that I am in the middle of is by Alyssa Cole. It is the Loyal League series. I've read the first one, An Extraordinary Union, and I still have two books to go. This is, if you're looking for a romantic suspense, this series is for you. It follows uh, Civil War spies um, in the, the South. I was on the edge of the, my seat reading this book. It will, was very, very good. Um, I can't wait to read the rest of the series. Just have to be ready to clinch and hope for the best. Even though I know it's going to have a happily ever after, still the journey can be very tense. Next series is another really popular paranormal series. It's Immortals After Dark by Cresley Cole. This series I think is one of my top recommendations if you're just looking for standalone paranormal romance. Cresley Cole writes fantastic female characters, very broody alpha characters. Uh, one of my favorite books of all time is in this series, Wicked Abyss. I think I've read it probably seven times. I am almost all caught up. The last book was Wicked Abyss that I've read. She had the newest one release in January, and that was Monroe. I'm kind of holding it off and saving it for like a special day when I really, really need a Cresley Cole book as a special treat to myself, but I will be continuing on with the series till the end, until we get Nyx's book. So, Immortals After Dark, for those of you who may not know the series, this is set in kind of a parallel world where under our noses there's a whole world of the lore uh, going on where you have fae and demons and werewolves and vampires and Valkyrie. Really, really fun, great characters. The world keeps on expanding to different universes. I think it has many different roads to go on. So I really look forward to continuing on in this one. Next up is the Dark Olympus series by Katie Robert. This one is a Greek mythology retelling in a fantasy world that I think is parallel to our world. 
I haven't dived in there yet. Uh, there's two books out in the series. Uh, I just started the second one last night, Electric Idol. I've read the first one, Neon Gods. Uh, I've pre-ordered the third one, Wicked Abyss, that's coming out in the summer. It's a Greek mythology retelling in a, a modern context. Uh, it's that the governing body of a, a kind of a city-state is ruled by the Olympian gods. Some of it is generational power families, others it's elected, but and anyone could probably stab you in the back. Really good love stories. Last book, the first book was Hades and Persephone, and this one is Psyche and Eros. Really enjoying it, and I will be continuing it on. The next series that I've been reading for years now is the Mackenzie and McBride series by Jennifer Ashley. This is another historical romance that is set. The first four books were set with uh, four Scottish brothers, one being a duke, and then it's kind of expanded to the greater family. I'm on um, next one up is book 12 that I have to read, and that is The Simple Ways of Jamie Mackenzie. Now we're kind of at the next generation of Mackenzies. Uh, really enjoy Jennifer Ashley's writing. I love her heroes. I think I've read The Madness of Sir Ian Mackenzie multiple times. I really love it. Um, great writer, intriguing characters, and definitely will be continuing on. Next up is The Mercenary Librarians by Kit Rocha. There are three books in the series. I've read the first one. Uh, there's two more to go. The third one's coming out this summer. This one is set in a post-apocalyptic world and it is like super soldiers and community activists falling in love. It is very original for a romance context. I always love Crit Roach's writing. I think this is the third series that I've jumped in on from them. Uh, very steamy, very powerful characters. The series makes me want to start buying seeds and hoarding them, uh, so I don't know whether I should keep reading it, but I definitely will. Uh, love Kit Rocha, and I'm excited to continue on. Ooh. Next up is another popular one. This is A Gathering of Dragons by Mila Vane. This one has two books in the series so far, and a novella, and one was scheduled, I think, to come out in April, but it's being pushed back to later on in the year. This one is a super, super sexy, gritty fantasy world. I really wish that we had more like high fantasy romance series. I really, really loved both the first two strong alpha characters, you know, powerful women in uh, this fantasy world where they are working towards fighting the big bad. Definitely be keeping on with the series when it comes out. Next up is another historical one, but this one is set in New York City. This is The Fifth Avenue Rebels by Joanna Shoup. This is a three book series. The third book is coming out in May, I believe. The second book, The Lady Gets Lucky, was one of my favorite books last year. Uh, really fun, you know, teaching the heroine how to be a better kisser scenario. This uh, series is set in the Gilded Age of New York, which is not the most popular of historical romances, so it's a bit different and I really like this series. Joanna Shoup is a fantastic historical writer, so I'm excited to read the third book when it comes out. Next up is an another historical uh, romance series, The Hell's Bells by Sarah McLean. This one has one book that came out last summer, Bombshell, and it has another one coming up this summer. This is going to be a four book series and follows an aristocratic girl gang who are fighting the patriarchy. This is super fun, super historical female characters in the Regency, so they don't want to take any shit, so it's pretty great. I'm really looking forward to continuing on in this one and seeing what the ladies get up to. Next up is The Adley Firm by Tilly Cole. This is e this is a dark romance series that follows a, a criminal organization set in London. Uh, I really enjoy Tilly Cole's darker romances. I've uh, read uh, I've read her two of her series that have been set in the states. Um, this is the first one that she set in England. First book I really really enjoyed last summer, 
and I'm eagerly anticipating information on the rest of the series. If you're looking for a darker romance, I would definitely recommend Tilly Cole's writing. Um, there are content warnings, but if you're looking for a, a darker series, definitely check it out. Next up is by C.L. Wilson, the Weather Mages of Mistral series. These are uh, high fantasy romance novels that are set with kings of different lands falling in love with a group of princesses. These, if you're looking for high fantasy, I would definitely recommend checking these out. They're not as steamy as Millivane, but if you're looking for fantasy and more targeted to romance, definitely worth a read. Uh, I'm looking forward to, I've read the first two and I'm waiting for the third one. No information on the release yet for that one, but when it comes out, I'll definitely be reading that. Next up is the Highland Guard series by Monica McCarty. This one is set in the time of Robert the Bruce in Scotland and follows an imaginary warrior group that set out secret missions on behalf of Robert the Bruce. This is a, a unique, uh, unique concept and I've really enjoyed reading it. I am on book 10, The Striker. I have one, two, three and a half books to go until I finish this one up. This is a great series to listen to if you're in the Scottish countryside and need to get up a hill from personal experience. It uh, definitely takes you all over Scottish and English history during that time period. Uh, really fun alpha characters and the women who don't want to take any pushback from them. Uh, I'll definitely be continuing on and I'll be sad when that one ends. Last but not least is one of my favorite authors, Malini Singh. I have two of her series on the go. So the first one is Guild Hunter. This one is set in an urban fantasy paranormal universe where archangels and angels live amongst us and they create the vampire species who are kind of like their errant people versus the humans. And you have hunters who try and catch, who are superhuman who try and catch the vampires that go rogue. This series has been going on for many years now. I've just finished the four, 14th book last summer, Archangel's Light. First, it was just following the main archangel and his love interest, Elena. And now they kind of have gone into individual books for the characters surrounding the archangel world. This is a really, really interesting and unique world nothing I've read compares to it. Malini Singh writes very, very st strong female characters. I will be reading the next book when it comes out. So last up is the series The Psy Changeling, which is another popular series. This one I am on book 20 in the series. Uh, Storm Echo, the 21st book in the series, comes out later this year. This world is kind of set in uh, an urban fantasy where you have humans on one corner, you have the Psy, which have strong advanced mental capabilities like telekinesis, teleportation, lots of the telas, different skill sets. And then in the other corner, you have uh, were beings. So uh, they follow different ones like were bears, were panthers, were wolves uh, in different books. Uh, one of the things I really like about the series, it's, it's very global. Uh, different pairings have kind of met all over the world. I think that's one of the great things that Nalini Singh brings to her writing is that it's very wide open and it's not really, it's, she never really picks one city and only stays there. Uh, she goes everywhere. So I really, really love her imagination. I can't wait to continue on with this series and I look forward to reading all of these series. Let me know in the comments down below, do you read any of these series? I love to know that. Uh, always like a reading buddy. And thank you so much for watching to the end of this video. If you liked it, please consider giving it a like. If you'd like to see more content, please consider subscribing. Until next time, I hope you all have a great day. Bye!